I talk about vitamin D a lot, but I really wanna start making the connection to brain health because a lot of us are battling with anxiety, we're battling with depression, we're battling with mood disorders, and we don't always wanna talk about it. But what if I told you that part of the solution very well could be our relationship with vitamin D, what we're getting from the sun. And not necessarily just the vitamin D that we're getting from the sun, but the vitamin D we're getting from our food and potentially from our supplementation. So I'm gonna dive into the details of how that connection actually takes place. And according to the National Library of Medicine, we found that about 40 to 50% of Americans are already deficient in vitamin D. So when you start thinking that vitamin D might be linked with mood disorders, well, then it's pretty evident that we need to be paying attention to it. Now, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics found that the link between vitamin D and our mood lies within the neurotransmitter serotonin. Now, that serotonin neurotransmitter is what's responsible for us having a sense of well-being, for us feeling calm, cool, and collected. Quite the opposite of feeling anxious or potentially depressed. Well, I'm going to get into the intricate details of it in just a minute so you understand how serotonin works and so that you can make the connection. But what we have to remember first and foremost is that a lot of these ties are still widely unknown. This is a pretty new topic, pretty new investigations when it comes down to vitamin D in the brain. So let's take a look at serotonin really quick. Okay, It's the job of serotonin, again, to help us feel good. Now the process of actually creating serotonin in the body is pretty interesting. You see, it comes down to something called tryptophan. And what tryptophan is, is an amino acid. And those amino acids are usually derived from proteins that we consume. And when we consume those proteins, we generally require carbohydrates to allow the tryptophan to enter into the brain. Well, what researchers are now finding is that vitamin D could be a very critical component in that conversion process. So essentially, eat protein, get the tryptophan, have it go into the brain with the help of carbohydrates, and then vitamin D comes in and assists in the metabolism and the creation of serotonin. So right at the very root of creating this neurotransmitter that helps us feel good. Now researchers are continuing to back up the fact that everything seems to be lying in what are called monoamines. Monoamines are a group of neurotransmitters, including serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, all three neurotransmitters that truly regulate how the brain operates when it comes to feeling good. And again, if we see that link between vitamin D and the creation of these monoamines, you can get the hint that, well, it might be pretty critical to overall feeling well. There's one study in particular that I really wanna reference because it backs a lot of this up, and it was done by Oregon State University. And what it looked at was 185 female participants that were all college students, okay, between the ages of 18 and 25. And what they did is they initially measured their vitamin D levels, and they found, naturally, that a lot of them were already deficient in vitamin D. But what they did is they monitored these women for an extended period of time. They monitored them over the winter time, over the spring, over the summer, and they watched their vitamin D levels fluctuate. And of course, naturally, in the winter time, vitamin D levels were significantly lower, especially up in Oregon where there's not a lot of sunlight, especially in the winter. So yeah, we had that natural fluctuation, but what they measured were symptoms of depression and symptoms of mood disorders as correlated with the vitamin D. Well, there was a direct relationship with when vitamin D levels were low and mood was low. And this was substantiated throughout the course of the year and through multiple different angles of study. And that's just one study that backs it up. There are multiple studies that also look at that. So again, although the direct ties are unknown, it's seeming to have to do with our neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. So although the science is somewhat inconclusive, it's pointing in the right directions. And you all know me, I am always here to give you the first amount of information that I can possibly get out of the mouths and hands of researchers. So if you like this video, make sure you comment and let me know. And let me know if you have any questions, but also please give it a big old share in your networks so that we can get the word out on vitamin D and honestly start taking back control from the lobbyists, from the politicians, from the big industry. Start taking back control in our own hands with what really makes our bodies tick. I'll see you all in the next video.